This unit is about saturated hydrocarbons, which are organic compounds of carbon and hydrogen. What does saturated mean? Saturated hydrocarbons are compounds with the maximum ratio of hydrogen to carbon. Consequently, saturated hydrocarbons are alkenes and cycloalkenes. But what is the difference between the two? Very easy, elementary would say. Alkanes are arranged in chains, while cycloalkanes in rings. Uh, what about alkanes and cycloalkanes IUPAC nomenclature? The in suffix identifies alkanes, while both the prefix cyclo and the suffix ane identify cycloalkanes. Consequently, it is quite easy to assign IUPAC name to unbranched alkanes and unsubstituted cycloalkanes, where are there are particular important rules for branched alkanes and substituted cycloalkanes. Now, let us talk about chemical properties of hydrocarbons. Alkanes and cycloalkanes are chemically quite inert. What is the main reason of their inertness? They have no functional group, which is the reactive part of a molecule. But what are you doing with that lighter? We can smoke in here. Quit it. That master may come. I only wanted to show that, despite the lack of a functional group, alkanes undergo important reactions, such as combustion, and this lighter contains propane. Dangerous, but interesting. The combustion of an alkane requires oxygen and produces carbon dioxide, water, and combustion heat. Do not forget that alkanes give also reaction of substitution, such as the halogenations. I'm going to write the equation of the chlorination of propane. As you can see, the reaction requires either light or high temperature and produces a mixture of two isomers, the one chloropropane and the two chloropropane. The percentage of the second isomer is higher. Can you tell me why? Of course. Halogenation is a substitution in which a carbon-hydrogen bond is broken and a halogen, chlorine in our case, replaces hydrogen. In uh, propane, the eight hydrogen atoms aren't equally reactive. The two bonded to the secondary carbon are more reactive than those bonded to the primary one, and that is the reason why 2-chloropropane is more abundant. In conclusion, why are saturated hydrocarbons important in everyday life? Because the combustion of hydrocarbons, for instance those derived from oil, has fostered the development of our civilization.